going on, everybody? It's Dan here. Time for another episode of First Bite. I have brought Lizzie P along with me once again. We have a cool review. Had fish and chips for lunch today when I filmed the fish and chip shop in Davenport. I don't know what episode that's going to be. And now we went to the Fox and Hounds Irish Pub on Brandon Boulevard. I will give you an address... It is at 229 East Brandon Boulevard, Brandon, Florida, 33511. Sorry, that's the best picture that I could get of the building. I didn't want to zoom out too wide because some lady was out front smoking a cigarette and I didn't want her to think I was taking a picture of her. So bars are closed right now. So that means the Fox and Hounds fish and chips, and it comes with tartar, unlike the tartar sauce at the fish and chip shop in Davenport. You had to pay a buck per tartar. And this comes with coleslaw too. A little lemon wedge. Oh, the sad thing is because they have to operate as a restaurant and not a bar because bars are closed in the state of Florida because of coronavirus. So you're not allowed to play darts mm. because darts is considered a bar activity. So you can't do what we like to do, go and order a fish and chips and set it on the counter in the dart room and play darts and drink your beer. But we can't play darts right now because it is a bar activity and bars are closed. So the Fuchs and Hounds continues to operate under the auspices of a restaurant. But they do offer drinks to go. First time I've taken advantage of that during COVID. <laughs> they made me a nice sangria. Is there a cherry in there too? Oh yeah, you bet there's a cherry. I gotta have the cherry in the sangria. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I've done an alcohol review before. And... Uh, I don't know if I should score that separately or that's, you know, that's, it's like, oh, it's almost like grape juice. I mean, uh, we did have to drive home. It's okay. a little watered down. It's got ice in it, but mm, I don't know if I should score that by itself, but definitely bonus points for a drink to go. Fish and chips. It's not bad. Uh, coleslaw. That's not bad. All right, so here's what we, this is bar food. I mean, tried and true. You can go to a fish and chip shop. Let's be honest, they're a bar first and foremost. And you're out, you're drinking, you're playing darts. You want to grab a quick mite. They just have a small menu. So you order fish and chips. Mm -hmm. That's what we like to do. I, do you think it's as good as it is when you're at the bar? Do you need the atmosphere and the smoky air and a few Boddingtons or a few Guinness drafts? Do you need that to make the food taste better? Or is it still good to you sitting here eating it? The same. Okay. Mm. So, the, so the atmosphere, just so a little malt vinegar. The atmosphere doesn't do anything for you. It's not necessary at all. Okay. Mm. It's so good. The big question. I mean, she's licking her fingers. It's got to be good. What do you have for a score for this? Fish and chips. Do you want to score the sangria or do you just want to include that in the overall meal the, with the fish and chips? Chugging sangria. Oh, I can't that. Wow. So your score. Mm. Fish and chips. This is unscorable food. It's amazing. I mean, how can you score it anything less than a 10? What? You're giving this a 10? What do you not like about it? I love everything about it. It's not that I don't like anything per se. It's like, I don't like, I think I started to talk about this and I got sidetracked. The chips, the big fat steak fries. I realize that these are proper British chips. The fat steak fry mm -hmm. style is how they do it in England. I prefer thinner fries with more Perfect of the season. Perfect with coleslaw. And you get that salt like this, ladies and gentlemen. You get a little, a boat, french fry boat, coleslaw. Mmm. I know you said it, but I have to ask you because I just, uh, what is your score? 10. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not going to have a double down today because we're not, we're definitely not going to have the same score as each other. 7.4. Um, oh, poor thing. Wow. Not, it's just, it is, I mean, look. It's slow. A score in seven, I mean, it, it's mm. good. If I wanted fish and chips, would I go to Fox and Hounds? No, I would go to the fish and chip shop. If I wanted a couple of beers and play darts and I was hungry in the process, uh. I would order fish and chips at Fox and Hound. Make sense? So where do you, you know, you take all the fish and chips and they're all good. So where do you, 
Like, what's the lowest fish and chips score you could possibly well, have when, when they're all good, you know? When it comes to fish and chips, I think of fast food. How far away does it remind me of fast food? <laughs> this. This doesn't remind me one ounce of fast food. I'm looking for a more prim and proper, maybe not prim and proper, but British style, old school. Oh. I'm, I'm thinking like England, and you're thinking like Americanized fast mm -hmm. food version of English food. Mm hmm So... To each their own. I grew up eating Captain D's. <laughs> well, this is better than Captain D's. That's what I judged. It is it way on. better than. Okay, I mean, if she's judging this based <laughs> on Captain D's, or heaven forbid, I even mentioned this on camera, Long John Silver's. Yeah, it's going to get a ten. Obviously, that that's not really how I was playing the game here, but. Whatever, you, you clearly have your own scoring system and it's like not on the same set of train tracks as mine. Mm-hmm. 10, 10 7.4, that's it. Deuces. Dan is out. What are you doing? That's been another episode of First Bite. <laughs>